The fate of the DACA program will likely be up to Congress. Tomorrow, President Trump is expected to announce his decision to end the program that provides temporary legal status to thousands of undocumented children. Well, Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski joins us now here in studio. And Jenna, Colorado Congressman is trying to push Congress to do something right away. And Representative Mike Kaufman says Congress is under a lot of pressure to save the DACA program. He plans to force a vote on a temporary solution, a bill he introduced a while ago that's flown under the radar until now. Now. It's known as the Bridge Act. It protects streamers from deportation for three years until Congress can come up with a more permanent solution. Are still scared of being on the streets. Uncertainty for the future. Still scared of going to school. That's the hardest part for Colorado dreamers like Tanya Chares, who know the federal government has all their info. They could literally target every single person on their list of people who have applied for DACA, and that terrifies me. The federal government knows where they are. And so if there are deportation proceedings, so they could be expedient. Something Colorado Republican Congressman Mike Kaufman isn't taking lightly. The members of Congress either have a choice. They either can let the program be phased out and, and these young people be subject to deportation, or they can sign uh, this petition for the Bridge Act. Kaufman introduced the Bridge Act in January. On Tuesday, he plans to file a rarely used discharge petition to force a vote on it. Temporary solution by extending the DACA program for three years. If more than half of the House signs on, the Bridge Act would go for an immediate vote without the lengthy committee process. I think people know the issue. And I don't think it's all that complicated. So I think members of Congress can, can decide this without significant debate. Representative Kaufman plans to file his petition the same day President Trump is expected to announce plans to end DACA, but only after reportedly giving Congress six months to come up with a replacement. The Bridge Act would give Congress three years to tackle the issue. Forces Congress to act on it. I think otherwise, uh, uh, just like the president, kind of wanted to avoid making a decision on it. Trump is under pressure from attorneys in 10 other states who threatened to sue if the president doesn't roll back DACA. The president's in a tough position on this. There is a constitutional problem in having it done by executive order. Now, Kaufman says he believes there are constitutional problems with the DACA program, mainly because it was created by an executive order. Kaufman points to a recent federal court case where the court found that the executive branch and the president can't make immigration law without Congress. Anne? Thank you, Jen. And CU leadership has responded to the possibility of DACA being ended by pledging to continue to admit students without regard to their immigration status. In a letter to staff and students, the university says DACA students will remain welcome on all CU campuses, and the university says it will advocate on the students' behalf.